Hello and welcome to today's video. All you're gonna need today for this one is a ball or a roller and a mat for comfort. You can also do this on flat ground. I would just advise um, no carpet because that makes this less effective or just less intense. So if you're really in pain, that might be a good option, but if you're looking for an optimal release, we want a hard surface. All right, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So TFL, you're gonna feel a nice big bruise or sensitive area right on the top of your hip. You're gonna take your ball or put your roller right underneath that. Find that spot. You're gonna know it when you're on it. It's gonna feel like a big bruise. And then you're gonna come down on it. We're just gonna stay here, taking some big inhales in through your nose, exhaling out any way you like. You're welcome to come a little bit lower down onto your arm. I just want you to stay here breathing. We're gonna be here for around 30 to 60 seconds, taking big inhales in through the nose, big exhale out any way you like allow your body to sink down in the ball. If you started at like an eight on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the most tension you've ever felt rolling, then we just wanted to get down to a seven or a six. We're not gonna get it down to a zero. We can stay here all day. We're gonna move on to the hip flexor. So hip flexor, we're gonna release via the sartorius. So that muscle kind of runs like this up your leg. So right before, um, right at your, this is the crease of my hip, right before that, you're gonna feel a nice little bruise. Again, we're gonna take that ball, come right onto that spot on that hip flexor. Let's see, who got it. And then just allow yourself to relax into it, take some deep breaths. I like to bring my other leg out here because it's gonna make it a little bit more intense, but if you want it less intense, you can keep your legs together. And then you're gonna breathe. Feel free to move around a little bit if you need to, to find that spot that feels like a big bruise. And then again, we're hanging here from around 30 to 60 seconds until you notice a noticeable decrease. So if you start at like a 10 on the pain scale, we're looking for around an eight, ideally. Um, it's just a distinct decrease in tension. Um, and then we're going to do that all on the same side. And then the last spot we're going to be doing is the piriformis. That one feels like a right, a big bruise in the back of the hip. I'm gonna grab that ball, come on to that piriformis. Feet are gonna stay nice and flat on the floor. You're gonna know when you find this one, it feels like a big bruise. And then you can stay here with both of your feet on the ground, or if you want a little extra, you're gonna take that opposite leg, cross it over top, and you're gonna find that you can sink down a little bit farther into the roller. And again, using your breath to calm the nervous system down. If we can't relax here, we're not getting the most out of the release. So again, big inhales in through your nose, big exhale. Let it out any way you like and relax down into the ball. And again, 30 to 60 seconds, you're gonna repeat all of these on the other side. This one we don't need a ball for, but you're gonna come onto your back. This is one I perform a lot with clients in person and might require a little trial and error kind of figuring out your body here. So we're gonna find the psoas. So right in, so this is my hip bone. We're gonna go a little bit more in towards the midline of the body from the hip bone and then a little bit in towards the midline and then a little bit um, towards the feet here. So you're looking ooh, right back there, right when you, you're gonna feel like it feels like a nice little tight like rope sensation. It's gonna feel tight and tender underneath your fingers. You're gonna take a couple fingers and kind of place some pressure on that area. You're gonna know if you have it because again, it's gonna kind of feel kind of sensitive, kind of tender. So again, in towards the middle line, a little bit down towards the feet. I got mine. And then on that side, you're gonna hold that area and then you're gonna bring your knee in and then you're gonna extend your leg out nice and long. You're gonna do somewhere between six to 10 of these moving. And as you do it, if you have the right area, you're gonna feel that muscle flex and release. And you might even feel some pops in the hip joint like I'm feeling right now. Five, good. Ooh, or some burning. <laughs> and again, you're trying to breathe through this. Eight, good, nice, nine. Good, and then last one, 10. By the end of those, you should feel a lot less tension, a lot less burning, and then you're gonna go ahead and repeat all of those releases on the other side of your body. Hope you found these helpful today. Give me a follow, a like, or a share if you did, and then happy moving, y'all.